Iron Age and Roman town of Caliva Atribatum in Silchester, North Hampshire, is an archaeological excavation led by Reading University's archaeology department since 1997. Professor Michael Fulford, the academic director of the Silchester Town Life Project, is committed to sharing the research and involving academics through a web-accessible, integrated archaeological database. The last excavation of the site in the late Victorian period left many questions unanswered. After that project ended in 1909, kind of rested. People thought that the Victorians had messed it up, there was nothing left to find, but actually we now know that they really just scraped the tip of this fantastic archaeological resource. But to capture all that evidence, we realised at the outset there is no way we could get hold of it without being able to store and manipulate it on the integrated archaeological database. This really does underpin what we do in the sense that there is just so much information. The complexity of the Silchester dig is fairly daunting. There is a huge variety of evidence to work with, including soil, bones, glass and pottery. And all of this information has to be processed. The integrated database allows the processing to be both organised and available to a wider audience. But most of the project we've relied on pen and paper, pencil paper, to um, record each layer that we've, we've excavated, which is pretty time consuming. And if we're going to get that record into the database, it needs to be digitised after the event. So you're actually doing a process twice over. So we've looked at ways to try and speed that up. Um, and one approach we've been trying in the last two years is to use digital pens, digital memo pads as they're called, which record your handwriting, which you can then um, convert into text and then enter the data straight into the database. The context is the building block that archaeologists use. It's the smallest unit of archaeology. And um, any archaeological site is composed of you know, hundreds and thousands of these contexts or units. And each one of them has to be recorded. The ideal is to complete all the data entry on site, because that then means once you come off site, um, you can start manipulating it straight away, and then you know, it's a faster track to publication. We're not there yet, but with the technology that Vera has introduced to us, this season, um, through um, Emma's expertise, we were actually able to digitise 50% of the context records on site before we came off. Instead of the students filling out one of these, they fill out the same information but in a digital book. And then I can just dock the pen, download it, then upload the same information to IDB. The recording is the same but the time you would spend typing is sort of saved. And because my work was done on site, um, any mistakes that you spot when you're doing it can be changed the same day, um, rather than having to wait until possibly now, um, when it's too late to check the archaeology, because it's covered up <laughs> or gone. Access to the integrated archaeological database through the internet has played an important role in involving specialists in the Silchester project. The data-rich records are the foundation for 2D reconstructions of Silchester, for traditional paper-based publications and dissemination via the web. From the database, we've got absolutely everything that the archaeology has to tell us about Building 1. I can export that plan from the database as a, a file which I can open in Adobe Illustrator. That's for the academic publication, if you like. But That's right. Yeah. Of course, what we like to do next is um, start up a dialogue between ourselves about what that building may actually have looked like. We'll take the information in the database that tells me about what the contexts are and the, um, the finds that came from it and uh, we can then put together a sort of reconstruction. When you give a talk about Silchester and you show some of Margaret's, Margaret Matthews' reconstructions, people really seize on those. I mean, they want to get an idea of what it was like. It's a process. We're at, we're, we're at the beginning of it, but it's already um, allowed me to start manipulating data much earlier than I would normally. I was a bit of a Luddite back in 1997. I, I, you know, it was all new to me. And, um, well, now, you know, it's like an umbilical cord. I can't do without it. Mm -hmm.